Who shall cut the hair cuts? What's this on YouTube? I'm clear. We're live. Are we live? We're live. We're live. Mask up, boo. Yeah. All right. So, hey, uh, other people who are not in this chair in this shot, can I hear? Uh, can I hear a, a last last words? Of what we want for yes. your hair? Yes. I told you, like you have an architecture, you've got a lot of real estate to work with. Let's work with it as opposed to just like chopping it all off. Okay. Why not? You chop it off all off in six weeks. Who cares? Okay. Six. What do you think, Tom? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> or whatever. Uh, I, know you have, I know you have strong feelings about my hair, Tom. Mine, so. yeah. <laughs> Mine's like you start to get his hair cut every two weeks. He's tall, so. He's tall. Are you going short, short, or like no, still? I, I, still short? Short. I, I think he's been long, long, too, but yeah. not this long. Just like a I'm like start a, cutting up the middle. I was thinking of Adam Driver. Good. Kind of. Uh, come on. Hi. I can't. Right? Adam Driver Hi. hair has Hi. Adam Driver face. <laughs> That's which, true. So it's a very spectacular face. Thank you. That's Matt's phone. It's my phone ringing. So the last minute, um, my daughter might be calling. No, I'm looking for my phone. You can hear your phone ringing. Uh, I don't know. I think we just cut off the mullet and then we go from there. Cut off the mullet and let's see. Yeah. Tommy, do you see the phone? Mm. Nope. Can you call it? Yeah. Like literally on the table. Right in front of the mom. <laughs> hey Nancy, since this is editorial contest, do you want to uh, tell the people about your Peter Sugarman cocktail? I, I do. Um, I actually linked it. So, what are we drinking? We're drinking Manhattans uh, from at Peter Sudeman's Substack. I don't know what it's called, but it should be called Peter Sudeman writes about Manhattans Substack because um, wow, that's a good look. <laughs> It's not too late. Um, and I'm going to be making some more. So thank you, Peter, <laughs> for this. <laughs> All right, let me get our IG going. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, so you're like doing quadrants. What's your, what's your yeah, process? Please section it. Okay. Just want you to look like this right now. I'm sure you're thrilled about it. I'm, uh, I'm totally thrilled about it, actually. <laughs> but I'm also interested in, in process. So, like, you see my stupid hair, which is limp and uninteresting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but, like, you also cut famous people's hair, some of whom are limp and uninteresting. I'm not going to ask you to mention <laughs> Don't name names, who but... has the most limp and uninteresting hair. It might be you. Sorry, continue. No, uh, <laughs> so like, it's like the first step to quadrant everybody or to? Or, uh, no, it depends, okay. depends on the hair. Okay. Okay. If you guys just want to like, take up, like, you know. Just get rid of that first, so. Get rid of the problem? Okay. Yeah. 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 And like, technically, what's wrong with a mullet? I mean, There's nothing wrong with a mullet. I mean, I don't, I don't hate your hair, but. <laughs> You don't hate his hair? Oh. Okay. So I've just started the Instagram live, so we've got Matt Welch here. Get his hair cut after. When was the last haircut, Matt? I believe it was in February of uh, 2020. All right. And we have Blake, who is my one of my daughter's best friends, and my son, uh, who is um, an actual, real, serious, professional celebrity hair cutter. Not naming names, Blake. <laughs> but um, we're going to... Um, Okay, so questions. I'm getting questions. How does Emmanuel feel about your haircut? Uh, she feels that it is uh, very long overdue, and she finds it curious that the precipitating factor for the haircut would be a television appearance rather than the gently suggested suggestions from the wife. Trying to qualify gently? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I honestly want to uh, give her nothing but uh, uh, credit for being so sweet to me. She identifies this as 
a coping mechanism to COVID. And she's probably not wrong about that. Uh, the degrees of which, the contours of which, might be under different types of interpretation, perhaps. But uh, you know, it's a COVID thing. Look at Jonah Goldberg. He's got a, a horrible COVID hair. But one in every like 20 dudes my age just like snapped. Right. Was. I got another question yeah. here. What's the next we the fifth derision now that the hair is getting cut? Derision. Oh, you mean like commenting that everyone talks shit about? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's got to be something with Moynihan. Let's come on. And he's here. Where did Moynihan scurry off to? Yeah, he's no, like no hiding. Uh, I want to hear Moynihan's uh, opinion about uh, mullet removal here, but. Uh, um, I'd like to have one. I think mullets on little boys and and little girls too look adorable. Yes. Like eight year olds. Talk about mullets. Come on, you're you're a asshole. Talk about mullets. You're you're alive, dude. You're alive. Um, on that. What did you say about that? That now that his haircut is not going to uh -huh. be the main object on derision on We the Fifth. What is the main object of derision? I mean, guys have to have something to dislike. I mean, like, just like he's a big fucking loser? Yeah, but you just three of Is that too general? There's okay. three of us. It There's three of you. It doesn't always have to be. Oh, no, it doesn't. Be him, but does it? Because yeah. he's just so, like, tender and he's going to take it? No. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I'm just go back to the archives and see what I made fun of that for before COVID and before he looked. Uh, and go, go back, back to that. that? Yeah, go back to that. That's what we'll go back to before he looked incredibly dumb. <laughs> Like, no, you should just keep it now. You look like you're in like L7 or something. Like <laughs> oh, hey, I'd like toilet. to say something. L7, I wrote their first video. What? I what? wrote their first video. L7. You wrote their first yes, video? Yes, I did. With Modi, you know, Motivation Films in LA. Yes, I did. Come on, let's not sleep on L7. Something uh, from What is it? Oh, it's Hey, you know, hey Modi, get on. some L7 on the uh, on the. Yeah, play some L7 machine. and make something happen, will you? Come on, right, make yourself useful. That. I'm setting up recording stuff. Oh, good. Yeah. Are you gonna like come for our recording stuff? I, I, yours was great. It's not good. It's there. Really? Oh, yeah. good. So yeah. recording. So, right. I mean, okay. getting it off the card and on. Make yeah. it Moynihan's cigarette smoking. Shame on him. No, come on. Was that? Hello. Someone's like trying to shame you into not smoking cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. Tell them. Tell them. I just, I just. Uh, tell them where you vape. But tell them where you get Which is like the loser neck beard version of uh, but wasn't it wasn't it a listener or was it one of us who said like go find the Native American? It was me. Okay. And I am now I because I made the argument that you know there's one good thing that came out of it so I can get vape products at uh, at the Shinnecock Reservation. So and that's pretty close. It's that's right. Very, very, right? very close to me, that's yeah. right. My dad, uh, when he lived in North Carolina, he used to get all his cigarettes at the res, and then when he moved uh Back to New York, he had me send him cigarettes from Oregon because there were the taxes were like, you know, two thirds less. How would you describe characterize the prices there on the rest? They're not as good as one might think. Actually, <laughs> um, maybe it's just it's me, and they're like, oh, fucking take advantage of this guy. I don't know why I have a Canadian accent, but whatever. Um, you have any accent? I just remember that uh, Kurt Loader um, oh. quit smoking, and I've never seen anyone smoke as much as him. And people that I knew at MTV would say like. The funniest thing about Kurt was he was the last holdout of smoking in his office. Oh, and he would just wow. like fill his office with smoke. But um, when he quit smoking and then, uh, no, before he quit smoking, all of the cigarette taxes went through the roof in New York. And Kurt was the one that turned me on to buying them online from Ukraine. So I would, buy, I would buy Marlboro like cartons from Ukraine for like $11, thanks to Kurt Loader. One thing so. that I love, like object wise, are ashtrays, like super cool ashtrays. I've got a really, I've got two really cool ones over there. And now that people don't smoke, you can find these amazing yeah. ashtrays at thrift stores. I miss smoking. Oh, that's actually a great idea, right? Yeah. yeah. We, we don't smoke, ashtrays cost uh, nothing. Like when we were in college, and I've mentioned this to you before, I think Nancy, but like, um, I went to uh, I went to I was a freshman in 1986, and so what could you get at a thrift store for a quarter in 1986? Every fucking disco record ever made. That's right. Because people were so like, and Barry Manilow, and, and you know uh, Andy Gibb or whatever, and um, and so we gorged on all of it because you know this was actually great music. Um, we might have bought some of it ironically at first, but when you listen to the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, it's like. Ain't nothing that ironic about this. This is just yeah. really, really good music. Um, and that's great. It's but then when you also learn, there's not only something really great about that music, but you realize 
how opportunistic the Bee Gees, the Bee Gees were in making it, where they were in their career. If you watch the Bee Gees documentary, that they were just <laughs> able. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. I sent you the video. Oh, come on, come on. Show, show it to, show it show to show the, uh, the, the live yeah, show it to oh, yeah. We got that today. Like, give us, give so, us a, 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 a... The Paloma Bar is now called Melanius. We've named the bar. Uh, yeah, it's a Melania Trump mug that somebody sent us. You know, the side is a picture of the most beautiful woman in, in the world. Mm, no, uh, but anyway, side, but she's hot. I don't know, Melania. <laughs> but the best thing about it is that I don't know if this was made in China or if it's mimicking her accent, but it says, I love USA. Well, they're not, actually, that's it. I love you. So there actually was a piece really of that. paper that came not from the donor that like the column listener, but just from the cup maker. And it was oh, like yeah. sexy, sexy women cups. And yeah. also what we was have it? more sexy cups. We have more sexy cups. For you, but, and what was it, like Lily Tomlin or something? Like that's that. not a sexy cup. <laughs> it was, okay. it was, Friendly, but what's that? Like, <laughs> Sexiest cup. I mean, like in 2021. Yeah. In 1977, yeah. we're going to have like, This yeah. is pretty great. Oh, I Yeah, mean, I don't know how, what was it, but there's so, a picture from the cover of Melania's Star Turn, the cover of uh, Philadelphia Style Magazine, oh, yeah, which is clearly done go. with a Google image yeah. search. Which and Blake has been working for. for oh, my God. This is yes, yeah. Ben Price. So we've got someone, wa Ben Price is watching this. He's like, oh, shit. Blake is doing, Blake is doing Matt's hair. You mm -hmm. see? Yes, the circle closes. Does it close really, Ben? Is that a closing? Uh, who's it's doing long. Me? It's long, dude. Yeah. What you doing, Blake? Do you know what you're doing? No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut it shorter than the way that's moldy, and kind of decide from there. Yeah. I'd like to get a little close, look like socks, just for the heck of it. Who's socks? Hey, Toppy, my love, yes. can you pour your mom a glass of something? Yeah. And maybe Matt, too, or? Matt's still okay. Drinking a Suter Manhattan. Um, one of these or something in the kitchen? Oh, um, one of those is fine. You can open one of those bottles. I think that open bottle has, like, been there for two weeks, so we'll get rid of that. Okay. Or we can try it. Kind of smell. It's only one. All right. That'll work. Blake, how has the uh, pandemic uh, affected the haircutting business from your point of view? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> what do well, like, you're Johnny High End appointment guy, right? So, like, you don't have a salon of your own or a studio of your own? Um, he goes no. on sets. Yeah, but, like, society, Blake. I mean, a few clients and then we get tested. How often do you get tested? Uh, right now, like three times a week. Jesus Christ, wow. Is that, do you think that's pretty normal even just for your standard haircutist? I think uh, so, yeah. at least once. Yeah. I mean, I'm now probably every two weeks or so, or three weeks, three weeks. max. Um, I also live across from a city MD. <laughs> But they get tested at work too. So like yesterday, they tested. I just did a job. They test us each morning. So you come and then they test you. You wait 10, 20 minutes and then you can go into the set. So if you've been tested so many times, how many times do you think you've been tested overall? So far? Yeah. I don't know. A lot. 20, 30, 50, 100. Probably 50. Just wow. So like at this point, because you know, if it's around 50, do you like? Do you look in their eyes and you can tell right away if they're going to be like the sadistic, I'm going to like squeeze the 20 foot Q tip uh, for I've 25 had... seconds and like twist it around? Well, I was really scared time. in the beginning and then none of them hurt. And then there was one time I had to go, there was maybe it was like in Brooklyn, there was like a line of like maybe like 200 people. So I could just tell the poor. Mm -hmm. The poor people of working there were probably over it. And I'm going to try to bring this, this little live cast just for a second to show it's really our studio, um, which I did a video earlier. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Like, last time I was tested, it was down in Red Hook uh, Testing Center, and I'd been there when it's a two-hour wait, and I'd been there when there's two people in front of me. Right. And it was two people in front of me, and that was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, we've got all this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just 
Tell them when they thought that you were going into cardiac arrest. Wait, what? I'm sorry. When you went and got tested? <laughs> That's a good story. So they take your blood pressure, which I'm very healthy, but sure. the machine malfunctioned. So it said that I had a heart rate of 140, which is going to be dead. So they made me stay for like 30 minutes until finally they realized the machine was broken. No one like put a thumb on your wrist? Well, eventually the main doctor just like, like she's like, can you just check it by your manually? Like, they thought he was having a cocaine meltdown. Well, they were asking me if I was high on like meth or cocaine. I'm like, what? No, like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Were you? No. 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 Nancy, do we have more questions? Uh, let's see. Tell Michael I love him. Hey, Michael, Chai Alea loves you. Uh, cool hand Steven Lucas says this is peak content right it's now. Do you content. see do you see how yeah. how people are so happy to hang out and watch a haircut and have some drinks? I mean, are they uh, happy? Uh, a, well they're okay. telling him I mean Chaya no. Leah loves Michael. Should we and, do a vote? Uh, Should we do a vote? Okay, yes, let's have a vote. Okay. Actually, yeah. Exactly. Should he get bangs? Yes or no? No. <laughs> I didn't vote. Okay. Uh, bangs, so, yes or no? <laughs> wow, okay, Tava, my daughter, Tava, eating a Hawaiian bread roll. I'm the only one eating all the bowls. Here's the thing, like, we have to have big goods <laughs> including, included in any, um, in any, uh, in any Crowd video. So, I had bangs as kids, of course. Yeah, but bangs as kids is okay. No. Oh, my God. All right, so old Johnny Kenobi of New Jersey says no bangs. <laughs> Jay Mamie Co says yes, 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 yes. <laughs> of course. Someone says this Bring is so... Bowl. So technically advanced, I can't. Well, yeah. I'm so sorry for you, but I'm feeling super proud. Someone says, fuck yes. <laughs> I may vote no, but, you know, it's not my hair. Someone said that? Do people like the bang idea. I, <laughs> what do <what laughs> bangs mean on grown-ups? I, I don't know. Bangs are not possible for grown-ups. Hey, Chaya says, tell them that hi from Long Beach. Jen says, Jen Libertarian. Side swept bags. Jen, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some good lighting. Can you fucking believe yes. this happened? Where are the peanut butter cookies? You ready? Wow. Ready? Yeah. With a bite out of them. And yeah, there's that's... more batter where those came from, dudes. Plus, I baked a blueberry tart today that Matt and his daughter Coco and I sort of enhanced. So. Um, it's mostly us. Mostly us, and I would be eating more right now if it were in front of me. It's not. <laughs> not took it home, which is cool. Sorry. It's good. It's good news. All right. At some point, Nancy, I might ask you to um, sit there instead and have me cut my hair. Yes, sure. but your hair looks fine. Uh, but uh, uh, no, to retrieve my phone just in case my eldest daughter. Has weighed in. With I will. I will send my eldest daughter to go get the phone, which is at the. It so looks like her, my phone. It's pink. I asked her. She's had strong opinions about the hair. They they haven't been positive uh, over time, and uh, I asked her like final parting comments for tonight, and she said, "Either shave it all off oh. or dye it pink." No, 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 no. First of all, easy, no. easy, easy. I've known you since you were born. The, no, I'm overruling those. Welsh, look at your hair. Oh, sorry, these, 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 these. Look at, look at this. Coco, Coco's out of the bath watching this. Awesome, my love. Coco, I love you, baby doll. I love you. What does is, what is Coco say? Uh, Coco uh, has been like, she pro, says you should have pink hair. Uh, I'm sure she would love pink hair. It's Coco. We can do pink hair. No, we can't no, do pink I'm hair. No, I'm getting my hair pinked up tomorrow. Oh yeah, because we'll be matching with Nancy. Even no, back when I had beautiful match. blonde hair, I did have beautiful blonde hair in my youth. Um, I uh, I made a vow to myself to never dye my hair, and that's just how it's going to be. Tava doesn't dye her hair. She's got I can't dye my Tava hair. Tava has almost black hair. Why, why would you dye this hair? Why would you dye that hair? That yeah. is like it would take like five rounds of bleach to get this. You could dye. you could like sell that hair at a pretty high cost for people who like So, Blake, how much is this worth? Wow. Silence. Uh, not as much as you think. Oh! <laughs> oh, burn! 
No, I thought the, maybe this is like last decade's news, but like Indian women from oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like well, they just sell their hair. Look at those hair. Nice, well, thick, shiny, glossy, heavy, well, a lot of, heavy hair. A lot of people in the Hindu religion have to shave their head once in their life. So the uh, where they shave it is actually it's the second wealthiest, I believe, uh, religious organization. So that's second to the Vatican. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they sell their hair. Oh, someone, uh, Jen the Libertarian, who we know, like in real life, said, holy hell, I'm jealous of Tava's hair. You and me both, Jen. Well, it's getting cut off. Well, she's the next haircut, the next live stream yeah. haircut. That one will be on OnlyFans. Oh, someone else too. <laughs> yeah, OnlyFans, yeah. We're, we're, that, that, that's, that's like for the high, the high uh, subscriber. Oops, what is this private message here? Uh -huh. Can you do the thing where you shave initials into his head? No. 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 <laughs> this is why we don't have private messages. Oh, what yeah. happened here? Uh, so let's, let's okay. we go a little shorter, obviously, but cutting a lot off. You've already cut a lot off? I mean, I've cut like three inches off. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is like this or should it be part something one. Else? It's part one, but it's got to go shorter, I do believe. Yeah, I think so. This is, I cut mostly the mullet off yeah. and left the top a little bit longer. So now I, I could be okay. like a really bad, like a uh, bar band rocker guy. Um, I heard a story about a bar band rocker. Yeah, what was his name? Uh, like a fictional story? Yeah, fiction story. Mom, your dead flowers are wilting somehow. Uh, yeah, you know. That's why I got the new like, ones. Oh, it looks well nicer now. That's for sure. But my God, how did I let that that happen? It's well, like, yeah. it was no. It now you can see it because of the contrast, because the back has been cut off. But yeah, yeah it definitely needs more of that floppy puppy ear thing. That's yeah. a big ass forehead too, bro. Yeah, it's that's, it's too big. It's, yeah. we, we, we gotta work that out. I mean, I don't know. How do you work out? How do you work that out? Don't cut out the. I'm just saying, like bangs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Little bags. Okay, someone said the kid in play look would be the ultimate mm -hmm. Welch music haircut. That's, you know, Zero hope for that. Zero hope for that. Zero hope for that. Melissa said, oh, dead flowers. There's something. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. There is so Ben. It's not dead flowers. They're actually fake flowers, but even fake flowers are wilting apparently. So what can I say? Fake dreadlocks. No, Matt's hair is way too fine for dreadlocks. There is he. You have pretty fine hair. Yeah. It's it's, it's like it won't. It wouldn't dread. Like I fine. could dreadlock my hair no problem if I wanted to, and I kind of had accidentally. What are you, what are you doing with that? Like, is, there, is it clipped clip to something back there? Or you yeah. Just gotta, well, I oh. do it section by section. No, no, no! I'm talking about Nancy. Uh oh, what's happening to my hair? You yeah, like a swoop. Nancy. You get a great, like, like pompadour swoop going straight back. It's an interesting. Mm. Uh, are you going to give Jonathan K's shampoo a choice? Jonathan K from Quillette? Like, I'm. There's a whole thing that happened earlier today that I'm not totally aware of. Got a Quillette right. Oh yeah, he. I dog shampoo. Okay. I know John, I mean, I don't know him. He's interviewed me. I've talked to him several times and I did see him say something like, hi, new subscribers. I don't usually talk about personal grooming. So I guess he used to dog shampoo. No, we're not going to shampoo Matt's hair. That's fine. Um, like he accidentally was using dog He said, shampoo? you're looking very Ed O'Brien from Radiohead. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, we might, and, and uh, Ileana says, we might be approaching Backstreet Boys territory, mm -hmm. tread with caution. I, I, yes. I'm i actually kind of pro, it's not Backstreet Boys, but what's, what's the, the one I like that Harry Styles used to be in, that I love? His the, in, New uh, Direction. Oh man, I am a big New Direction Still fan. What's the one I love? The, um, um, you don't know you're beautiful. Oh my God, I've watched that video 12 times. You know more about this than I. Me. Well, the Harry. St yeah, I'm sorry. You're, it's you're it's a, a good Harry video. Styles, well, I kind of am, except that I'm not so like super into it that he has to do like every. Uh, 
I'm shutting my mouth. But anyway, yes, I kind of am a Harry Styles fan, but I am a New Direction fan of that that song. It's like a video called, like, You Don't Know You're Beautiful. It's it's kind of fun. He's dating Olivia What's-Her-Face now, Blakey. I don't know. Olivia Wilde. Really? Yeah. Oh, she's way older. Yeah. Because he's 25, I think. I think she's, what, 30? I, I don't think he's 25. I think he's, he's like pretty young. I think she's, like, 36. One Direction. Okay, sorry. People are like, Nancy, five directions years old. Well, I am old. Anyway, oh. my, but my daughter was the one that told me it was called Five Directions, so hello. We don't listen to that. I yeah, don't, don't be don't be listening. Yeah, One Direction. Well, I love that video. I think it's adorable. So, and way hotter. Who's way hotter? My yeah. daughter. Yeah. Oh, Matt is yeah. the, anyone way hotter than Harry Styles? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Olivia Wilde. Yes, Olivia Wilde. See, do you see how happy people are? There are 21 people having happiness. <laughs> 21. You could people. be watching. Uh, is 60 Minutes even still on the air? 60 Minutes. 60 the is what's his name still on the air? But they're not. The By the way, I downloaded all of the Blazers games so I can catch up with you. Oh, did you see last night's winning? I didn't see. Oh, one point, baby. One point. One point. Trailblazers. Trailblazers. This morning, yeah, Michael. Okay. okay, Ben is asking. If, uh, I'm going to answer that question. Okay, yeah. so um, Ben Price, our really dear buddy, who I love to the end of time. So, is there sound on that? No sound on this. I presume there's sound on both. Okay. I hope so, for fuck's sake. How stoned would you have to be to stare at a soundless haircut? <laughs> I don't know if there's a drug for that. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> so what percentage of your hair uh, cuts, like your famous haircuts, are maintenance versus sculpture? Or, or am I making a false oh, statement? Well, like, hey, just like you know, dudes get their hair cut every fourteen days. Huh? You know, some dudes do. Um, I mean, it's different for everyone. You know, if somebody has hair more like me, it takes way more maintenance. Right. My hair looks good right now, but uh, you know, I'm one. To, I'm not one to be like, oh, you need to cut your hair, so and so. Like, do they put? Do they call you in because you're going to change everything and like make it into some new thing? Well, I know, yeah, but not every time. Right. You know, like you're an artist. Don't sell yourself short. No, but I'm saying like you know, if I cut somebody's hair really short, then I'll also make it grow up or something. I won't see that in like a year or so. It's true. So you have a built-in incentive to say keep it long. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> no, it's just. Shorter hair is way more maintenance. You keep it short. It's true. You can give yourself for the past uh, 12 months. Almost 12 months, actually. Hmm. I mean, I remember, so Matt, the last time we all, like, kind of communed at a bar communally was, I think, March 8th of last year when yep. the uh, fifth people. Was, yeah. We all, it was fifth column, and ninth, yeah. it was, like, Patreon people, and it was, like, let's actually meet in person. And people came sort of from all over the country. Not so we're not talking like hundreds of people, but there were like, we had like know, 35 people, maybe more at this bar in the um, sort of East Villagey kind of. So there's two events. One was the live event, and I forget when that happened. Um, it was the same night. And it wasn't. The, there was, so there was um, Fifth Column did a live thing at the Comedy Cellar with like 100 odd people there. Uh, which was maybe a bit before, but then um, on in March 8th or 9th, one of the last days, we taped, uh, unusually, we taped an episode in the afternoon, live with Rouse Duthit, um, and who later said that he was covid um, and we were in a small room. And then afterwards, we went to a live event that you and I were at. At Soho Forum. With Nick Gillespie. That's right. Um, it was Soho Forum debate. I think it was libertarians arguing with each other. 
it, shockingly. Was. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, later we, Nick was to find that he was COVID at around that time. Um, right. And then right. we have emerged from there and went to a fifth column after drinks with listeners about 30 or 35. I, I would, um, I'm going to say, because I was there, one of the three women that were there. No. Five. Sure, okay. okay let's, Maybe. Five. Okay. Um, I would say it was more like 55 people in this, in a pretty small bar. I mean, yeah. it was not small, but like a medium sized thing. We were having we were 80% super, of the bar. Oh, for sure. Having super fun. Everybody like basically the equivalent of making out in each other's spaces without making out like super close talking people Speak that I've never up. met. And, um, the next day, literally the next day. And I remember this because I think you and I and someone else had a, a meet set up and you texted or whatever and said, I, I got to stay inside. Yeah. We, everybody was, literally went inside the next day. It was like the lap. It was a kind of a big, interesting, symbolic night. And then everybody went inside. I believe it was March 9th. And I believe uh, that it was the 14th or the 13th of that week was the day when Tom Hanks got it. And when the NBA got it and they're like, Oh, we got to close the NBA. We got to close down Tom Hanks. And that was also the week that you and I, Tava, went back to Portland where we were living. Mm -hmm. I've been living with me and you and my husband, Dan. And we went for a week and didn't come back for two months. Yep. We, it was like, well, we're going to go for a week. We were like selling the house or doing some stuff. And we didn't and come back. My last week. bar in New York was Montero's Bar on Atlantic Ma okay. karaoke night. Oh Can I interject? Gosh. Frank Montero was the first boy I ever kissed on my 11th birthday. Sorry. Easy's uh, asleep, I hope, right? Easy? Easy. You would have, don't be, dare be doing that. Don't like, kiss anyone named I, Montero. I, I had not <laughs> planned on doing that. He laid it on me. But um, This is his bar? It was his uh, family's bar um, right in uh, on Atlantic Avenue and Hicks Street. Um, it's a great, it's actually a great New York bar. Um, but it was interesting because you went inside be, out of an abundance of caution. No one knew what was going on. I went to Portland. I didn't see you, Moynihan, anyone for months. Yep. And then I came back and it was the Michael Jordan documentary was on. Mm -hmm. And I'd been watching it in Portland very happily. And I really wanted to see the next episode. It's the final episode, I think. Not by or second to last or the final one. I really didn't want to watch it by myself. And your family had not seen anyone for a couple of months. We hadn't had anybody in the house. And it was, uh, and it was you know, uh, difficult. And I was like, I really want to watch the episode. I really like to not watch it alone. And you asked permission, essentially. And I was able to watch it with you guys which was great because you got to bust that bubble at some point, guys, you got to figure out, is it safe to start walking outside? And actually I'll say something a little bit about that today. Jess Mears, she works with yeah. reason. She, She's uh, a libertarian party, uh, uh, communications person has been for a long time. I think she works with reason actively, but, uh, but she's certainly friends and is a great person. She tweeted today, she's like, hi, I in the past year have traveled to 40 states um, for the Libertarian Party. If you have any questions like, you know, COVID related, you've traveled to 40 states, please ask me. And I responded and said, I think this is really, really important to build into the conversation. Like there is a vast difference between staying in your house and never leaving and spitting on people in Walmart. And that I think is what people Forget, I've traveled across the country five times to work journalistically and family-wise. Um, we've got to Mexico and back. Tommy and I did. I'm going back in a couple of weeks. Tested negative every time. Like that's, I think that's important to build into our model. I do. Um, to understand like transmissibility. And I have tested negative seven times now. Uh, Blake, who is cutting Matt's hair, how many times have you tested, Blake? So around 50. Around 50. 50. Negative. He has traveled for, where have you gone for? For work, Blake. Just around the just US. I haven't gone out of country. Yeah, but, it, but you've but gone around the US. You know, like I'm super precautious, but then I do see people who aren't, so it's uh, I don't know. It's very easy to be safe, but a lot of people aren't. 
Well, no. I've got some here. Okay. Um, I feel like we've used um, reasonable but not excessive or precautions. Hmm. That's good. Hey Matt. Yes. You hear us getting here's the here's the thing uh, that hair cutters will always say. It's like you've got to give it a shape. And you're here us getting a shape. Getting well, a shape. And then for like what? flaccid thin hair. It's hard to shape it. You know who has amazing hair? Your daughter Coco has amazing hair. And actually easy too. They have this really thick, heavy, straight, Easy's glossy is, hair. Easy's is pretty thick. And they're not thick and great. Oh, Coco's, I believe, it. I have bathed and combed and braided Coco's hair. It's pretty thick. It's really, they, both your daughters have gray hair. So, Liana says, I've been working with kids in person the whole time and I've never been sick. Someone else, cool hand, Stephen Lucas says, my brother was tested twice a week while he was swabbing noses. He never tested positive. I think that's true. I think um, it is the case that, you know, obviously we want to be, we we want to use an abundance, abundance of caution with anything we don't know. But you also have to look at people's experiences and not be hysterical and not overreact. I, you know, Matt, you know, we've had people to luncheons here. Um, we're not slobbering all over each other, but we're also not masked at lunch, right? Am I allowed to say that? You are. It's true. I mean, people are eating. People are eating. We're sitting at this table. We're sitting at this table that I'm sitting at now. And I mean, we're we're being cautious when we go outside, but we're <coughs> we're you know acting like we would normally, and we're fine. And I think that's important to build into the model. Which I mean, it could also be that at any given time, <coughs> it just us, takes one person. That it just takes one person. It could have happened. Maybe we, you know, one or more of us were already sick. Maybe we infected each other. We didn't know it because we didn't get sick. Whatever. Like there's an element of of, of chance and randomness to it. But what I I, I really wish that people would, would kind of unclench in the way that they talk about all this stuff um, and talk about the policies of the stuff is everyone wants to moralize about behavior. I'm sure there's, you know, to the extent that if, you know, if there's more than 21 people watching this, um, there would certainly be someone like, my God, how dare you? My grandma's sick. Um, and I'm even being more mean than I should be because I understand where they're coming from. Um, Let me interrupt you just one second for a comment. Absolutely, Nancy. On the other end of that, my job took no mandated precautions, and half our plant got sick, yeah. myself included. Yeah, there's you know. So, and there's but there's also an element of randomness in it. It's like it's geography. It's it's this. Like everyone wants to point to well, they masked and they didn't, or they were this type of assholes and they were that type of assholes, and. What should be? We should all be on the same page at this point. But if that's the problem, is that people just aren't. But there's no, there's no like, there wasn't leadership from the beginning. So I think it's kind of people got a little road. And also like the the people who are speaking from the authority of science did you know they changed their stories on on certain occasions or or they. No, like the mask thing, and it's kind of stupid to talk about even now because everyone's like masks are to wear them. But like it was clear early when they were sort of discouraging masks that they were doing that not because masks weren't useful, but because they were worried about a shortage. Right. Like just just like level with people. Yeah. If there was a leveling with people all throughout, it would have been a lot easier. And it's to this day, like the lack of leveling of people, I think it's really hurting our friends in California and my family in California. And a lot of uh, listeners to the film and elsewhere who come there, like the rules under which they decided what is going to be open and what were not, they didn't tell anybody what those rules were. They didn't, right. Or like what, what the uh, the scientific basis well, the was that again, behind I think that comes to totally not enough leadership with it, you know. Just say like, these are the measures and mm -hmm. this is how we came up with them. This is the relationship to the science as, as well we know it and kind of go from there and they just can't but also if you respect your neighborhood it's like you should all 
Was Moynihan uh, nodding he off? Is, no, no, he wasn't. He was, um, I guess, getting prepared for you guys to yeah. do some taping. Psychologically. Yeah. yeah we're doing he, a, he was. He was actually on, like, what is it called? Um, Only Friends. He's on Only Friends? <laughs> to, he's on Cat Tim's Only Friends? Not Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Welsh, not Welsh. Look at this pro haircut. If I give you a haircut, it would have been done in like one minute. You would have done it? Wow. I mean, everyone who cuts their own hair in the bathroom mirror, it takes a minute. I mean, even when I cut my hair, it takes no time. <laughs> but then we're, we're kind of doing it step by step. I might be this thing better. I might like. Back a little bit more, but this is looking better. Oh my. Look at wow. you, dude. Look at wow. that hot, hot, hot. Now, watch it. This is um, better. look at that. That's better. I hate anything around my ear. Oh, Dan was the same. My husband's the same. He's like, Oh my god, get that stuff away from my ear. Yeah, drives uh -huh. it crazy. You got more around the ear. If you want. Also, it's not going to be this brushed out. It's true. Um, so, uh, I think I might just cut like cut through here a bit more, but it's too much length of here. <laughs> it's nice to have an actual haircut. Uh, okay. Keep going. Also. Feels Keep going. good, right? Comments, please. Let's have that. Oh, people love it. Yes, looking good. Everyone's wow, right? heart okay. shaped eyeball wow, right. emoji. You're you're all everyone's happy. Well, what's the what's the dude chick split? Uh, well, actually, Ben Price says bang it. Look, he serves in Iraq. I mean, like and and Afghanistan. Yeah, and like so I he, think so that's he's that's pretty crazy. Well, he's like storming I, the capital. Like, like, no, he's like oof to one side. Uh, <laughs> Still a little bit Bill Hicks. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Hot time for Mayor for Mar. Very nice for Fro. Uh, is the Blake more, is the more thing, uh, public summer? No, I just okay. the non-binary contingent says <laughs> A plus so far. Okay. <laughs> is that Jay? Yes, actually. All right, uh, Jay. Right, Jay. Um, everyone likes it. Happy eyeball emoji with hearts. Yes, yes, yes. From JD Izzle. Izzle. Vizzle. Uh, yes, everyone's at, Is it JD Vizzle? Is that your daughter? No. Oh, appeals to all genders, which is, of course, you know, which is Matt's objective. I mean, that we, we have an, as, as journalists, we have a, you know, a mandate and a responsibility. Um, Jan Libertarian says, so far the best possible. Best possible outcome that's a practical person if i've ever heard one thanks jen although you know or maybe it's a little i don't know it's a little by the left hand as my dad would yeah, say yeah, yeah, is that yeah, a left-handed yeah. compliment I'm like clear. were you hoping for something else yeah. were you hoping for that adam bad. driver haircut <laughs> that i'm not saying i was like Listen, googling you can't, you can't do adam driver dude with this hey, face. can you just be relaxed for a second you don't have adam uh, i hair. was thank me you. thank you Wait, what did you say? What? I don't have a Adam Driver's hair. That's true. Matt's, is, Matt's know, here is a little. Is, um, I love a little... all of the Adam Driver. I will Holy watch shit. Adam Driver People in dig every in. Wow, we're gaining followers. What's movie? happening? Someone said, Nancy, I'm so proud of the Instagram live. Well, thanks. It's super hard. I'm sitting here at a table drinking a glass of wine <laughs> and holding my phone. It's It was, you know, almost as hard as writing my book. Uh, mm -hmm. The classically liberal goal is to appeal to all genders. Well, let me tell you something. You know, you want to know how you appeal to all genders? Okay. You bake. Well, this is you not do. Be personal, I think. No, I'm just saying you bake and you be kind and you invite them into your house to that's true. drink whatever it is that's on offer, which is Peter Suderman's cocktails and some wine at the moment. And a so, lot of fifth column. Oh, oh my God. Our fifth column hour. 
the fifth column bar you in Melodious. You can hour it. I know. Uh, is amazing. Um, we are quite, quite rich in booze. But I will, I will echo something that Matt said, I don't know, a couple of podcasts ago. It's like, there's a lot of whiskey and bourbon here. And, you know, people sometimes like to drink tequila the, uh, or yes. rum. And also a, a huge shout out for actually people have been responding to that comment and saying, oh, what's then you must need Melania magnets for your dorm fridge. And yes, that's exactly what we need. As we eat, well, we need the Melania coffee cups and, and coasters. And the, the painting that's insane. The painting, which is coming on nicely. We've week. had a um, lot of fun with that. But did, like, did you like let your, your fans decide name this? The, the bar? Yeah. No. No. It just, it, it became inevitable. Like, we were just talking at, at the end of our recent uh, podcast, um, saying, hey, like, help us decorate the, the new studio. Right. And um, we got from uh, a great listener, uh, Jeff, uh, this bottle opener from 1973 Soviet Russia from a children's cartoon, which it's a wolf. And all that makes total sense. The um, wolf and a chicken? It's just a wolf with a guitar. It's uh, pretty cool. It's really super cool. But like people started like giving us uh, uh, sort of uh, flair right. for the uh, for the whiskey. Well, and that's been great because that's like it's gonna take a while to drink that much whiskey. That's a lot of Peter Sutter in Manhattan's. Right, and we get to it. and you were very lovely today to buy the no, no, no. Antica vermouth that I asked you to, so we can make this proper sure. Manhattan split. Very so yes. Blake, who is not a fifth column listener yet, um. People are so happy to listen to this podcast that they want to be part of it and send, you know, gifts to help it along. And they have been sending art and and liquor, so we, we will accept. I've got to tell you that the transition from long hair to not as long hair it feels really good. It's hot, it so just, it feels good. Like I don't have all this garbage on my neck. <laughs> I will say so. Um, Din, my husband, has a, uh, what's it called, a shaver, uh, like a razor, the uh, electric. Yeah, it's a clipper. Right, a clipper. And um, he would do his own hair. Like, you, it's super easy. Like, you set it to, like, a one or a two or a three. Well, and it, it's easy to mess that up, though. Well, know. I did years, years ago, like, five or six years ago. He's like, hey, babe, I, you know, I did my whole head myself. Could you just do around my ear? I was like, sure. And I was like, wow. Ah. <laughs> did you actually shave? Oh, I May, and he's like, oh, you're fired. That's the, the last time we're doing that. But I will say that the feel of um, when the hair is like super short on the head, it feels super good. It's like, it's this little like thing you can play with. And it not, if it's feeling good to my fingers, it's obviously feeling good to the head. So cut hair feels pretty good. And Blake. I would like to give some like super shout outs to Blake who was very amenable when I was like, Oh, like, can you come over? Of course he's family, like my other son or my one son. I think um, there's another. <laughs> there are I, I didn't want to tell you until now on air so you couldn't react badly. Um, but uh thank you for coming over and doing that. Cool. I mean, coming over, he's coming over from Philadelphia. Yeah, from like across the world. Someone's like, I will send you a Fred Sanford magnet. Sounds great. Oh my God! Yes, Fred Sanford. Yes. yes. Okay, Matt says yeah. Where's Blaine? Where is he? Tava. Just, just for the yeah. Fred Sanford. Nothing. Yeah. Never mind. I bet you have never had a haircut that lasted this long. Um, oh, your hair was, was, cause I saw you, what, last Christmas? It's a year ago, babe. Right. It was December oh, we had the 2019, party. because I, re oh, yeah. I reposted yeah. a link to it. <laughs> so I've had, yeah, this is the, my second haircut since then. Really? I got a cut in February or so of last year. So it's been about, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been about a year. It's crazy, yeah. That was a year ago. 
It was more. It was December 2019. I had only lived here two weeks. I had like a house full of people, which was awesome. I think Jen gave me that. An entire bucket of tequila. Did he? Jin, he made, he made a, okay. No, he made a batch of cocktails. Jin liquored up. Okay, Scott Ross. <laughs> Shout out Scott Ross. Scott Ross. Uh, Jin liquored up. And Sarah Knowles, the girl he grew up with, yeah. apparently was like Jin's right hand man. And he, he was, she was his wingman. We liquored up everybody. I mean, you do yes. remember Russia. you were walking down the street with your down the stairs with your slippery shoes walking down the stairs is a yeah really that was not it my this apartment this, this building that. yeah this building is not good for walking down it was a actually a great party and <laughs> i lived here two weeks and i had a party and everyone came which was awesome <laughs> that back when but okay let us just inject this again you and i have had tuesday lunches here we've had been a while yeah, because sure, I've been traveling, you've been traveling, it's been a little crazy. And there's still kind of re, the re-lockdown, but yeah. Yeah, but we had four or five Tuesday lunches here with yeah. various people, and we ate our lunches. We were careful, but not, like, masked, and we're all fine. I think, I know I, I harp on this a little bit, but I think that's important to put into the mix. I think as a scientist or a... Someone who's trying to understand what's going on here. I think that's important to understand. I didn't like, realize that you were a scientist, but now it all I didn't, becomes a I lot know. I've known other. you for how long now? Like 18 years. I, I guess didn't want to. I I didn't want to like overload you. Um, <laughs> I I think it is important to again that vast chasm between staying in the house and spitting on people in Walmart. There are people that choose to live their lives carefully, but not excluding everything else. We have to carry on. We've got to, guys. We have to. Can you imagine what it's going to be like three months from now? I'm going to be walking out with, without a shirt on. That's, yeah, it, yeah. that's it. I, it's I, I, it's I, I, all going to be a Motley Crue concert I from 1987. I burned all my bras today. I, they're all in cinders, and I'm, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Someone's like, is it weird that I'm totally starting to focus on Blake's technique? Well... Let's see, yeah, let's get closer let's to the technique. I don't want let's you to get Bill Clinton in there. The what? <laughs> so maybe, Blake, you can explain a little bit about your technique while you're getting a... Uh... <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm just making the uh, sides and back a little bit thinner. Easier. When did you start cutting hair? A long time ago. Well, what's a long time ago? Like, how old were you when you started cutting I went to beauty school when I was 17. So. 17. And why did you go? What what, what was interested you? Um, I was in a band. And I would cut my friend's hair. We cut each other's hair. Yeah. It just seemed fun. I was in school training to be a luthier. Ah. Who works with wooden instruments. That's correct. And it seemed miserable. <laughs> I liked it, but it seemed like a miserable future. So. Uh, I've always been capable of doing fine things with your fingers. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. What did you play with that? Just guitar. Just guitar. Yeah. So you're a really guitar player. It's better, but yeah. I also I like working on the on instruments. Have you ever like built an electric guitar from scratch or that kind of thing? I haven't. Yeah. But my Friends? Beyonce just kind of does it. I'm kind of curious. I've got a bunch of friends. I'm 52 and have been in bands for a long time. Not now, obviously, but like, uh, and it, I, I'm finding it to be a, a recurrent thing uh, among my age contemporaries. Oh, like, get back into just like, even if they're not in a band, they will like make their own guitars from scratch. It becomes like this middle aged thing. And it's totally cool. I don't fucking identify even with the second of it. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's kind of important, right? I mean, just, it's always like, this is my 14th lacquer. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, the, the things that they build are beautiful. Objectively so great and beautiful. It's just not, that ain't me. Yeah, they look, they look, my friend's got taste guitars. They look great. Uh, 
So you went to beauty school because you're in a band and you enjoyed that. And then did like it click to you in beauty school? Like I, I love doing this, or you actually have hated it all along, including it right now. No, I, I, I really, I really liked it. Yeah. And beauty school is a really weird thing. Like <laughs> everyone's on drugs, obviously. I wasn't, but yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> I was the youngest person there. So there was a bar in the same building as my beauty school. I was 17, everyone was in their 20s. So they would go from the beauty school to the bar. And this is in which state? Seattle. Okay. And uh, so I kind of was like left out of a lot of the beauty school drama. So I think like people would you know, like date and sleep with each other and like girls fighting, guys. There was a lot of drama in beauty school, but I think because I was so young, I was kind of left out of it. And like in beauty school, do you have you can go in the direction of hair and makeup, or in makeup and the direction of hair? What, what are the directions that you go in beauty school? They kind of just teach you the basic fundamentals of cutting hair, and then it's more it's it's more like cutting hair. Uh, they do teach makeup, but I am horrible at makeup. Um, they like only passed me on that part of it just because they thought it was good everything else. But it's something you do learn. But it's kind of just the beginning. And then you started doing it in Seattle or like what was your- Well, I knew I wanted to move to New York regardless. I, really, I came here and I really just love the city. Uh, and so I worked at a salon in Seattle for like a year and saved up. And then I moved here. That's your chance. And then you have to like find a place within an existing institution or you build your own business out of stuff. Um, the traditional route is like assisting, which is what I did for, for five years here. Um, assisting means what? Assisting like working for working for other hairdressers and working on teams for fashion week and you know uh but i only worked in the salon for a few months and that first found out that there was like another world of like freelance hairdressing then just kind of fell into it and, well, time goes by and you're like holy shit but so i love it it's fun Is freelance hairdressing the goal of people who work at my local really nice barbershop? It's not because it's such a, uh, I think if somebody wants a way more structured life, it's mm -hmm. actually like they hate it. Yeah. And so for instance, like, okay, I can think, on my schedule, I would have no idea what I'm doing next month. I'll like I book like a three week job or something. So it's like, nothing's for sure. A lot of last minute stuff. Like I can get booked on a job the night before. And you're cool with that. Yeah, I like it. I think I, I, I don't would prefer I prefer that over like going to the same place every day. So it just, you know, there will come a time theoretically when you wake up and nobody wants you to fly out and then you're screwed. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically. So as long as people like you, it's it's a super great way to do it. Yeah. That sounds that sounds wonderful. I mean obviously we'll see. It's a different world now, so but I do feel like my business is kind of like hair in general, is like fashion industry. It's been really safe, like pretty impressed. Our Instagram seems to have stopped, so oh my god. What do you think? Wow. Can you only do that live for a certain amount I, of time? I don't know. It just seemed to like I don't I don't know the answer to that. What is the thing on this computer? This is the That's YouTube? still going. This yeah. is still haunted. Yeah. There are comments. Well, it's a live chat. There might have been. Oh my I can't god! See any I haven't chat. even looked at it. <laughs> Hi, live chat. We're getting like a. Well, play. we're just gonna leave that. For now. <laughs> I haven't even looked at it once. Okay. Is there a chat? <laughs> there is. There's a live chat. Over there, we can see you, YouTube live chat. But I don't have my glasses on, so I can only assume it's like, wow, looks so great. I've just only now noticed that I'm sitting on an absolutely wobbly chair. Yep. <laughs> Let's look. Let's take a look. Wow. 
I might need to wet it a little because I'll see. Where like this? Where I think this is like together. Holy cow, wow. Whoa, I hear it. What do you think, guys? I'm not going well. It just looks like it. Thank you. That, uh... I like the top a little bit longer. It just feels a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Let's see if I have any family input here. Should we FaceTime? <laughs> Coco says you look like a little baby. Okay, the five, -year <laughs> the six-year-old says I look like a little baby. Fair enough. Like a little baby? Mm -hmm. Does she still want pink? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, uh, my wife says, excellent cut. Uh, Blake is the star. Wow. Okay. So do we do we do we do more? Do we do less? What do we think out there? Can't do less. Can't do less. <laughs> <laughs> No, Can you take off your mask for a second? Yeah, just yeah, sure. Sorry. Wow, big old it looks face. amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It looks amazing. Yeah, put your glass. Take like, also like. Hello. Oh, it's so Hello. good! It's so That's well good. Show. It's quite no, it's you? good because it's long in the front a little bit. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's do you want to like? How do you do your hair? You just do not. I I do this. I put a little a little something in it. Yeah. I want I want Blake to cut my hair. Says Jen. A uh, little less off the right side, says Leslie Kramer. Okay, people are getting pretty... Uh, a little less off the right side. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. What are they saying? Just, uh, mostly uh, people like it. Um, <laughs> crowdsourcing a haircut is always a good idea. I, I think this is... This feels pretty good. My wife likes it. My daughter likes it. Nancy likes it. Jen, the libertarian, likes it. It's pretty good. How's it feel? I mean, it's just like get out of jail. Um, is there any way to get some of that? Little, yeah, the ear thing. Ear thing drives dice crazy. I, 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 I want those. Yeah, yeah. So you don't do it. Do you cut it? What's that? So you don't cut it? What do you mean? Were you cutting it? Hmm. I had been, yeah, like during the. Uh... You saved a bad situation. It's pretty good. I like the long hair. It's just was getting a little, a little thick. It is raggedy. And you know, we all kind of physically are not necessarily all at our peak. Yeah. <laughs> Every side. Every side. So Bill Maher's Friday? Yes. Okay. Good. It's been a while. And like part of me was like, yeah, let's just do it with the terrible hair. But I kind of around New Year's like, uh, okay. Good enough. And also, you know what? I like I was saying this to my wife a few days ago. And unfortunately, it was the day before it got super cold. <laughs> but my thing was like, Let's pretend it's spring. Let's you just, sure? just, but like in, in general, like, like we know this is going to be the worst and most cruel February in the history of all terrible and cruel Februarys. Like you just, it is because we're in the middle, we're at the end of this fucking pandemic, and uh, you know we can see people are getting vaccinated. Like our parents are starting to get vaccinated. Whatever. Yeah, it's great. We can see how it's going to be four months from now, and that's going to be great, but we're not there yet. 
and people are still dying and people are still scared yeah. and all that. And it's going to be so difficult to sit here. And, and it's also in the East Coast and in the North. It's cold, terrible. Yeah. February is always terrible. So my, my big idea was let's pretend it's spring and just act as if it is, even though it's objectively not. Um, and maybe we can like bluff our way into feeling better about things. So for me, how's that working out? Well, pretty good actually, you know? We're building stuff, you've seen the studio. Yeah. The studio is pretty sweet. Like, do stuff, build stuff, make things nice. Be happy and positive, even in the face of horribleness. And get a, a nice haircut from a really good haircut. What do you think, Darnass? I like it. I like the way that it um, it kind of like does this like double leather level feathering. Look at look Hard really to say. Nice. No, it looks super double nice. Double level feathering. As everyone knows. No, but it does. It looks really super good. Got like the that's a little bit of length here, which is what I was talking about earlier, right? Yeah, not cutting it all off. No, why? I mean, you've got this real estate. Why are you just gonna dump it right away, right? <laughs> like, it's like you're know, like the game stuff. It's like you gotta like figure out when you wanna dump it, right? Don't so, sell. Don't sell. Don't sell right away. Like you've got this nice long, and this goes back in like a nice little like, swoop. It's good. He's the man. I'm never gonna get a haircut this good for the rest of my life. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy with that. Blake, do you wanna? I know you don't want to, but do you wanna talk about some of the people whose hair you've no, cut? Oh, we can't talk about that. Go ahead. Uh, you probably you know, could. I, mean, I don't really talk about that. Okay. Do your hair sometimes. You have cut my hair. I actually am due for a haircut. My hair's getting kind of long. Trump's hair for five years. That's, That's right. Great. Yeah, yeah. No. That's he would not do that. magician. Some magician <laughs> that do you have a theory about his hair? He's definitely. I think he's definitely bald. It's definitely bald. I think not bald, bald but bald. It's, 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 <laughs> a, it's a it's a comb over situation. Okay. But like surgery and complicated parts and stuff, right? Yeah, which might be why it goes so because you can see hair plugs, which might be why it goes so forward. <laughs> you know smoke. how it's like a like a. It's, a, it's weird. It's a weird situation. He does a cyclonic thing, thinking that people are going to be fooled. But it could be bad hair plugs, and that's why he has to... You know, it's not like you can see his hairline, right? Right. Well, you remember the terrible story, right? His wife, his former wife accused him of raping her after he got some hair plugs that she recommended, and they didn't work out the way that he wanted. And then afterwards, she said he raped her. I'm just saying that's that's just what I understand. And hair plugs are pretty. It's a really crazy surgery. One thing that don't begin to understand. I think that the expert that I am on men and women is that. In my experience, women don't really care if guys are bald. Mm. And men don't really care if you, if women have a little bit of cellulite. And that, if they could, like, each get over those hurdles, they don't care if women have a little bit of what, sorry? Cellulite. cellulite. They just don't really care. It's like, it's not a, the, like, men, I think, in their mind, think, like, oh, my God, I've, I've lost some value because I have less hair. Yeah. And women are like, oh, my God, I've lost less value because I have cellulite. But the reality is that men do go bald and women do get cellulite. And, frankly, it's... I appreciate you coming up with a new, new pronunciation each time. Yeah. Of what? Of cellulite. Isn't you it know. cellulite? You're saying cellulite? I think it's cellulite. No, cellulite. Like, cellulite. I mean, it could be both. I just, in my experience, <laughs> it's not really a deal breaker. <laughs> and I don't think women, I don't think I women really care to you tell you the truth cut. about bald men. I just don't think they do. I think some women do care strongly about bald men. Uh, well, how do you know that? How, how Matt Welch, 
how in God's name would you know that? Because you're not bald. Uh, because I'll tell you when we're not recording. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, some people, like, some people see them all and they're like, you don't want to see them with their because they look um, I'll tell you the story that supports my theory, which was a. Uh, I've already told you this story. I was on a film where I met my daughter's dad years ago, and I was with a gal. I feel like we were 25 years old, 24 years old, and she was super cute, kind of skinny, but had a big butt and big legs. And she was talking to some guys that we were with, and she's like, Oh, I just wish I could like lose weight and inches on this area. And they looked at her and was like, Oh, don't do that. Like all the things that the things that you think make you undesirable, someone else loves. So don't worry about that bald spot, dude. I don't care personally. Okay, I think we're good. Dude. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, wow. Take it off. Wow. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching all this. You just watched Erica. I want you to all feel good about that. Free haircuts. Free haircuts right there. Right there. Take off the mask for a second. Let's see it. I think it's good. I think it's really good. I don't think it's shorter. No. Oh, I like it. Matt's back to normal, says Leslie. Okay, go put on a headband, says Christian. I have one. <laughs> <laughs> look, Michael, look, look. Look at him. Ah. 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 It's a good cut. I like it, right? Isn't it nice? Yeah. It's yeah. a professional haircut. Yeah, that's right. It's my haircut. Oh, it's terrible. Let's it's just. Good. Give up. one last headband, okay? Like. We can still do it. Still do it. Um, thank you to everyone for watching, uh, and thank you especially to uh, Blake. He's not done. He's gonna be doing this all night long. One hand and I are gonna go record a uh, Patreon episode. It's all the best sparks the long hair. That's right, Jen. Very good. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks my family also for watching <laughs> and sending support. Um, and we're gonna give you more Bye. content over here in a second. All right, more thanks. Content. Bye. So thanks to Nancy. Bye, guys. Bye. See you soon. Yeah. Um, she'll just. Yeah. Yeah.